Hi, this is Shanna Borman here with Straight Talk and Honest Advice about Family Law here in the Brazos Valley. So today we're going to talk about mediation. Mediation is that process where we try to resolve disputes without having to go to trial. Specifically, we use a neutral person to convey offers between you and your spouse in hopes that you guys can reach an agreement that you find to be in your family's best interest. In mediation, a judge, a stranger, doesn't make the decision about what's best for your family. You and your spouse do. And so that's important when we look to the future. We want to focus on what's best for your future. Many counties refer cases to mediation because mediation works. Now before mediation, we want you to prepare. We want you to think about what's most important to you. And we want you to think about what's most important to your spouse. We want you to think about what you think is going to be the hardest issue to resolve and how do you want us to handle that issue. Now when we ask you to consider what's important, we want you to prioritize those things that are important as well. So we ask you to grade these items. The most important things get an A, the least important things get an F. We want to know what's important to you so we can work towards that goal. Mediation, it works. Most of the time, mediation results in a signed mediated settlement agreement. That mediated agreement sets out your terms for your agreement because you and only you have the power to agree. The lawyer's role in mediation is to advise and guide you. We inform you of the consequences of either accepting or rejecting proposals. We make suggestions about possible counteroffers to best meet your goals. We don't force you to make an agreement. But if you do agree, you must remember, each mediated settlement agreement has magic language. That magic language is, this agreement is not subject to revocation. What that means is, you can't sleep on it and decide to change your mind in the morning. You are bound by what you agree to at mediation if you sign the mediated settlement agreement. Now, the law accepts and enforces your right to agree, your right to make agreements that are in your family's best interests. And in fact, the law says a judge can't change it. That stranger who sits on the bench that doesn't know you and your family can't change your agreement. When you're facing a family law dispute, you need knowledgeable and experienced representation. You need lawyers who are passionate about empowering you to make choices with your future in mind. You need straight talk and honest advice. You need us. Give us a call today.